Man, let's talk about the Buckeyes for a second. The Buckeyes 2023 season was one of the weirdest to date because on one hand, they had one of the greatest defenses that college football has ever seen. They gave up more than 20 points one time in the entirety of their 2023 season and on average held teams to less than 12 points a game. But while the Buckeyes fielded one of the best defenses that they have ever had, they also had an offense that it just never really lived up to anything. We're used to seeing Ohio State have one of the most potent offenses in college football, but with Kyle McCord as the QB1 for the Buckeyes this past season, the sparks were just never there. I mean, yeah, don't get me wrong, they could put up 63 points versus Western Kentucky, but in the two games during their regular season that really counted, their game versus Notre Dame and then their another game versus Penn State, they only won that game versus Notre Dame 17 to 14, and they only won their game versus Penn State 20 to 12. It seemed like every single time that Ohio State needed Kyle McCord to step up, specifically when they were playing their tougher opponents, the offense in him was just never there. And even with their offensive struggles, the Buckeyes managed to put together an 11 game winning streak. But at the end of the season, when they went over to their rival Michigan, simply not having that offense let them down and they ended up losing 30 to 24 for the third year in a row to the Michigan Wolverines. So with offensive pieces like Kyle McCord and Julian Fleming both hitting the transfer portal and their number one guy, Marvin Harrison Jr. going to the draft, along with many other talented Buckeyes, the future for the Buckeyes, as of right now, it's looking pretty grim. Psych, the Buckeyes have a brighter future than ever. They finished off the 2024 recruiting season with the sixth best recruiting class in the class of 2024. Also, the Buckeyes might have just found their next CJ Stroud and Marvin Harrison Jr. and Jackson Smith and Jigba pairing. So guys, be sure to leave this video a like and comment your thoughts down below on the Buckeyes past season and what you guys have planned going into the next season, as well as once you've watched all the way to the end of this video, comment down below who you're most excited about coming into this 2024 recruiting class for the Buckeyes. You, you brought in a lot of weapons. That's, that's all I gotta say. Let's jump straight into it. Hit the subscribe button. Love and appreciate all y'all. Let's take a look at the Ohio State Buckeyes top five recruits in the class of 2024. Three, two, one. Psh. Starting it off, the Buckeyes found their for sure replacement for Kyle McCord in five-star quarterback in the fourth best quarterback in the class of 2024, Air Nolan. This guy is six foot two and 195 pounds. And when I say he could spin it, this kid has one of the cleanest throwing motions in the entire country. I'm talking just look at the dot that he just threw into the corner of the end zone. Now he's a lefty, so he's giving you a little bit of a different look than all the other righty quarterbacks that we've seen. But I mean, look at how compact that throwing motion is. Super, super compact throwing motion. This guy knows how to run a high-powered offense. He literally, in his junior season, had the greatest offensive season that a Georgia high school football team has ever had. And he was at the, he was at the helm of all of it. This kid is going to be something special. He was a four-star recruit for a very long time. People finally caught on that this kid is something special. Now he's ranked as a five-star recruit. Yo, my, I'm telling you, Ohio State, they went out there and they got them some pieces. Yeah. Kyle McCord, don't get me wrong. He was a very, very talented quarterback. But you guys got to remember, Kyle McCord and Marvin Harrison Jr. were high school teammates. A lot of the reason why Ohio State was even recruiting him was because they wanted Marvin Harrison Jr. I mean, look at look at this perfect lead. Look at this perfect lead. Traffic all in his face. Boom. Dime. Perfectly hit him in stride. But yeah, no, th that was a big reason why he was even he was even getting looked at by Ohio State. Now he was good, don't get me wrong. I'm pretty sure Kyle McCoy was a five-star recruit coming out of high school, but a lot of that ranking was because of Marvin Harrison Jr. And so bringing in a guy like Aaron Nolan as well as the other pieces that we're going to be taking a look at. Yeah, they're, they're going to be having that same uh, Ohio State offense that we're used to having. And then you pair them up, just let them have another year like they did at, on the defensive side of the ball. Don't worry. The Ohio State Buckeyes will be back into the college football playoffs in no time. Coming in at number four, the Buckeyes landed five-star recruit and the fifth best defensive lineman in the country, Edrick Houston. This kid is six foot three, 265 pounds of pure animal. Look at how quickly he gets off the line. Nope, just bully him, just bully him. Playing for Buford High School, plays for one of the best teams, not just in the state of Georgia, but in the entire country. Yeah, 
he he knows how to go up against some he knows how to go up against some elite talent. Hey, my guy Edric Houston. Now he was a this was a major recruiting win for the Buckeyes. Oh, just wait to get into the backfield. This is a major recruiting win. There was a lot of people thinking that he was gonna flip to Alabama. Ohio State was able to keep him, and now he's going to be a uh, he's going to be a Buckeye. It is a you know, Edric Houston is one of these guys. He is. He's not on the same level as a JT to him allow as far as just like the play style. But when you're talking about pure talent, you're, you're getting a guy that can flat out get after it. This is a guy that's going to be causing a bunch of havoc in the backfield who can like you guys can see this kid has a great first step, unbelievable power, and he's doing it in a very solid frame. I mean, 6'3", 265, and he, like he's looking as like is just like not thin but like you know what i mean like he's built he's not like a he's not like fat if is what i'm really trying to say like this kid has got some muscle so yeah just get up and just manhandle him let's go hey edrick houston this is going to be your next star defensive player for the buckeyes Next up, the Buckeyes landed the number one player in the state of Ohio, so they're showing that they can recruit in-house very easily. The second best corner in the country, Aaron Scott. Hey, so far, and as you guys can pretty much see, five five-star recruits that the Ohio State Buckeyes landed in the class of 2024. Even with the six best recruiting class, they still put together a master class of recruiting, bringing in the top guys that they needed to. Let's throw off the hands and then just, just walk it into the end zone real quick. Let's go. Aaron Scott is a six foot one, 190 pound uh, corner who's just, th this kid, he's built for the next level. I mean, we all see, oh, undercut that, thank you. We all see Ohio State knows how to develop their wide receivers and their corners. Aaron Scott's gonna be that next great DB for the Buckeyes. Seen him in a little press, off press. Nope, where you going? Get hands on him early, bump him out, out of bounds, give him nowhere to run, and then just blow all that up. Let's go. Oh, and he came down with it. Let's go. Now, that's just mean. I don't know how he came down with that, but he just punked that wide receiver. <laughs> yeah, blow all that up. He, he saw that coming from a mile away. Aaron Scott, this guy is, he's an, he's an island. You put this guy, you literally, this is a man coverage corner if I've ever seen one. Like, you're talking about a guy, you can put him on your best receiver and he's going to lock them down all game long. Now, let me introduce you to the first of your new wide receiver duo in five-star wide receiver, the number one player in Indiana and the seventh best wide receiver in the class of 2024. Look at the wheels, Mylon Graham. This kid is a rocket ship. On top of that, he might be one of the quickest route runners I've ever seen. I'm talking about a guy who can get in and out of a break like that, and he is gone. This kid is so twitchy. I'm so excited to see him be a, an Ohio State Buckeye. You're talking about a guy who can just flat out burst. I mean, look, like literally, he was about to, if he was about to hit that edge and be gone again. Mylon Graham, this this guy, you could throw him in the slot, you could throw him outside, and he's gonna be able to make something happen. Swoop, no, ankles, what you thought it was? Swoop, ankles, yep, and uh, you was gonna run you, it's just too slow. Mylon Graham, this guy, he's going to be a phenomenal asset for the, for the Buckeyes. Let him and Aaron Nolan throw out a couple, it, it's gonna be nice. Let it fly. Yeah, Mylon Graham, this kid, he is something special. Little out and up. Find it. Ankles. Ankles. Yo, just cut all the way back across. Mylon Graham, this dude is on another level. He's going to be so successful with the Buckeyes. And last, but certainly not least, the man that needs no introduction. This is the number one player in the country. Not just the number one wide receiver, not just the number one player in Florida, which he is, the number one player in the class of 2024, Jeremiah Smith. Pairing him up with Mylon Graham and Aaron Nolan is going to be the nastiest combo that we have seen at Ohio State. Six foot three, 200 pounds of just pure playmaking ability. Jeremiah Smith is one of the most gifted and talented wide receivers I have seen coming out of high school. You're talking about a kid who has the perfect frame for a ex wide receiver, your number one wide receiver target. 
he has the hops. He's got the speed. He got the route running. Like, this kid is on another level out here. I am very, very excited to see how the, how the Buckeyes develop him. We all see, we, we know what they can do when they get a wide receiver. I'm telling you, Brian Hartline, he knows how to not only recruit, but to really develop wide receivers. Jeremiah Smith is going to be that next great uh, wide receiver for the Buckeyes. He might be the greatest ever. I know that Marvin Harrison Jr. holds that title right now. This dude, he is on another level. Down here at the bottom. I mean, he just runs so hard. Give me that. Like, literally, he's, he's throw it up to him, and he's coming down with it every time. I mean, he looks like he could be a college wide receiver right now. Give me that. Head top. Literally, he would have been, that would have been an easy touchdown if his quarterback just had a bigger arm. And I love the, I love the fire that he plays with. It lets him know that, that he really cares about what he's doing. Oh, bye. Yup. Easy walk in. Easy walk in touchdown. So those are the Ohio State Buckeyes top five recruits in the class of 2024. I want y'all to comment your thoughts down below. Who are you guys most excited to get in this 2024 recruiting class, specifically out of these top five? You already know as a former wide receiver, it has to be Mylon Graham, or not Mylon Graham. I'm excited about him too. Jeremiah Smith is the real deal. Like, I know that, you know, Julian Fleming, I know he was the number one wide receiver coming out of high school. Obviously, now he's transferred over to Penn State. I know that it didn't really pan out with him. I know that we've seen a couple of other top big name five star recruits at wide receiver go to Ohio State and some of them pan out. A lot of them pan out. Sometimes they don't. Jeremiah Smith is the real deal. This is a guy that is going to be he's going to be three years in the building and gone as a day one draft pick like like when you're talking about he's already got an NFL build. He's already got the speed. Really, it's just about fine tuning and refining his game overall. He's going to be drafted somewhere wherever Marvin Harrison Jr. gets drafted, if not higher. Jeremiah Smith is unbelievably talented, but I want y'all to comment your thoughts down below. Who are you guys most excited about? I would say it's going to be Jeremiah Smith or Aaron Nolan because Ohio State needs a quarterback going into next season. So we'll see what that ends up being. But Aaron Nolan has a very good chance of being a true freshman starter for the Buckeyes. Comment your thoughts down below. Love and appreciate all y'all. Leave this video a like, hit that subscribe button, and turn on all your notifications so you do not miss any of the fire videos that we drop, bringing you new videos every single day. I love and appreciate all y'all. Know that, you know, Jesus Christ, he's always right there with you. I know that, you know, coming out of the holidays, things are a little bit different, you know, family's leaving, some family never came. I get that it could be a little hectic. Know that Jesus Christ is always right there with you. He's there with you in the thick of it. He's there with you in the highs and in the lows. Never forget that. Love and appreciate all y'all. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Ciao.